Now that Workday is 10, one of the questions I'm getting is, after 10 years, isn't it time for a tech refresh? Getting this question makes me think that we haven't done a good enough job painting the full picture of everything we do in Workday development. Workday is continuously investing in its platform to keep it scaling and to keep it based on modern technology. Probably the best example of how we've done this over time has been the changes that we've made over the years to how we handle data in memory. When Workday started, we made a big bet on in-memory data management. And on day one, we had all customer data kept in a single process on a single server that processed all your report requests and all your transaction requests. Four years ago, we made a significant change because we found a way to make quick copies of the data in memory so that it could run on other servers. So we were able to use multiple servers to do things like calculate payroll, process integrations, and process large reports. The benefit to the customer is that we could dedicate a lot more CPU and a lot more servers to satisfy your processing needs. The next chapter of in-memory data handling is being written today. Workday developers are at work figuring out how to partition just the data we need for specific tasks, such as time entry, so that we don't have to make a copy of your entire data set just to get a single transaction done. Instead of having a monolithic service that can run with all your data, we'll be introducing microservices that can do things like process time entry or process journal entries. These microservices will take us to the next level of scaling to accommodate your online transaction processing needs. They'll also help with the journey to zero downtime, since microservices will be able to be available when other Workday services are down for maintenance. Late last year, we completed a project to change the way every transaction is stored in Workday. Prior to this project, the typical Workday transaction involved inserting multiple rows into our database. We changed that to insert a single row for all transactions. The benefit of doing this across Workday is that we've gotten 50% smaller on disk in terms of our memory. And that also allows us to start up Workday twice as fast. These projects were all multi-year projects that were built and designed incrementally and then built into the Workday updates that we do every six months. At Workday, the next generation is happening continuously, update by update. We invest to keep our services scaling and to keep them based on modern technology. This investment future-proofs your investment in Workday services. We think to be built for the future, you have to be open to continuous change at all levels of your solution.